Welcome to Secure Single. Secure Single is here to help you to thrive as a single person. I am James Bolin, and today I'll be talking about six reasons why single women don't need to marry. The first reason is because getting divorced is difficult and annoying. Getting married is pretty simple. You both go to the courthouse and sign a piece of paper. You then are able to both benefit from it because you're now a married couple and you now will have more than 1,000 laws that will benefit you, which married couples receive well, singles do not. However, getting divorced is more complicated. Getting divorced is also costly and expensive. And if you have any children with your spouse, that will also make it even more complicated as well and make the matters take more time to resolve and you may even need to get a lawyer. Women are also the ones who usually want out of the marriage with reportedly two thirds of divorces in the United States being initiated by wives. The second reason is because getting married doesn't make you an adult. Marriage is considered an important rite of passage for adults in their life according to society. There are not many rituals and life milestones that are left in modern society, so it's no surprise that society is so attached to weddings and pushing people to get married. This is why society still pushes marriage as one of life's milestones. Society emphasizes that only once you get married, that is when you truly become an adult. That is when you are real and truly responsible and are a proper adult according to society. The earlier in life that you get married, it shows that you are viewed as a more desirable person according to society's logic and view. In the meantime, society treats other relationships. In the meantime, society treats other relationships that you may have as being lesser than the married relationship. Those relationships include your friendships and any relationships that you may have with people in your community. Your friends, your best friend and acquaintances are thought as being less important compared to the married life. The bottom line is that getting married does not make you an adult. You are an adult no matter what your relationship status is. Being an adult means that you're responsible for your own life and directing your life how you choose. That means managing your money and finances and doing what you want and living your best life how you want. If you love being single, smash that like button. The third reason is because weddings are overrated. From watching Disney movies to seeing all the wedding magazines and websites, weddings are pushed down the throats of singles, but especially single women. And weddings require a lot of planning and weddings are expensive. Weddings are supposed to be the most important day in the life of women as you start your next part of life. Instead of thinking that you need to get married, you can throw your own big party invite all of your friends and family over to enjoy them rather than getting married. You can hang out and party with your friends anytime that you want. You can also live your life to the fullest by being single and by thriving as a single person. And it also costs you a lot less and be fun too compared to if you had to pay all the expenses for a wedding. Fourth reason is if you want to get married to lock down your dude that you may have, you can always find another one. Men are everywhere over here, there's another one over there. Look out your window. There's probably a bunch of dudes walking by. Go walk outside. Men are on your sidewalk and are walking across the bridge. Men are walking across the street. There is no reason for you to get into a romantic relationship. There is no reason for you to marry. There is no reason for you to have children. You are in control of your own life and your own life decisions. And there's no reason for single women to pursue and find a spouse to date and marry. If you love being single, smash that like button and subscribe to Secure Single to get more content that will help you to thrive as a single person. The fifth reason is why not just enjoy being a single woman? Picture this, you don't have a significant other or a spouse in your life. You have no children in your life that you're responsible for as a parent. Your life is all about you and you are the one in charge of your life making all of the decisions. You have the freedom to do what you want to do. You're able to set up your own home environment so that perfectly fits your own needs. All of your resources and efforts are invested in you and in working to better yourself. It's up to you to discover those resources and skills that you have and to unleash them to the world. Being single and being a single woman is not a sad, lonely, or an empty life. On the contrary, it is a full and a complete life. You can find friendship and you can find community. In fact, when there is no man or significant other in your life, there will be so much more of all these things. You can have nieces and nephews, but you are not the one responsible for taking care of them. Why not choose who you devote your life to yourself? Is that such a bad thing? The sixth reason is to choose to embrace the freedom of the single life. There is no need to follow society's 
traditional life milestones such as dating, getting married, and having the two and a half children with a white picket fence house, unless that is what you truly want. You can choose to embrace the freedom of the single life and to thrive as a single person. As a single, you have the autonomy to do what you want and to go where you want. There is nothing wrong with this. You are in control of your own life as a single person. You can use the opportunity to go on a solo trip, to work to improve your skills, spend your time how you want, live your life how you want, and to direct your life how you want without having to be worried about being tied down with a significant other or a partner. You don't need someone else to make you happy. You are in charge and responsible for your own happiness. You don't need to have a wedding. Embrace the freedom of the single life and thrive as a single person. If you love being single, smash that like button and subscribe to Secure Single to get more content that will help you thrive as a single person. Now it is time for the question of the day. What is the reason why you are not interested in dating or getting married? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. For more content that will help you to thrive as a single person, you can watch this video or you can watch this playlist to learn more about how you can thrive as a single person.